Well, it's Saturday. You know what we do on Saturdays. Songs. And today we are doing Cleaning My Gun by Chris Cornell for Mr. Zachary Summers, Anthony Braggs, Anonymous, Giannis Baby Blues, Claire Luo, and Oscar Badillo. And I would like to extend an extra hearty chicken soup thanks to Mr. Andrew G. and Bonum. Bonum, you are a good man. For signing up for the Patreon supporter of the Cause Club. Gentlemen, <laughs> Next level. Thank you so much. If you would like to take our relationship to the next level, the link, of course, will be in the description. Here we go. In typical solo Chris Cornell fashion, this is a meandering chord sequence that doesn't, you know, kind of repeat in the normal way, and it's hard to keep track of where you are, so I need to follow along to this piece of paper, and if you would like to follow along to this piece of paper, I have placed it on my website, ryanlent.com, show notes, and the title you are looking for is in super secret backwards code, so no miscreants can horn in on our secret super information. What is the opposite of a gun? which shoots something out, a vacuum cleaner, and I don't think I have to explain why cleaning the vacuum cleaner is going to become Danny Tanner. So Danny Tanner is the title you are looking for. I'm going off the Walmart soundcheck performance of this song, just so you know. Okay, capo five yourself, and we're gonna grab a G chord, and this song is in six, eight, or three, four, so we're going to use the strumming pattern in ubiquitum for six, eight, or three, four, which is to say, down, up, down, up. Down, up, down, up. And then from your G, we're gonna play G with an F sharp in the bass, that I have written G slash F sharp, that is how those things are pronounced and that is how those chords are written, but they are performed by just lowering our G note there, you know, not really a G note because we've got a capo on the fifth fret, but there's no piano players in the room, blah, 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 to the second fret, which is F sharp. And then an E minor, followed by a D, but on this D, he hammers on all the notes of the D thusly, and then he takes his middle finger off. So, followed by a C, and then we're gonna call this chord C with a B in the bass. It basically does the same thing that G with an F sharp in the bass did, but relative to the C chords. So from C, get rid of your ring finger and put your middle finger on the A string second fret instead. And that's not a chord you strum on for a long time. It's a passing chord. Followed by A minor. And then A minor seven with a G in the bass, which sounds complicated, but all you're gonna do is take your ring finger and put it on the E string third fret instead. So, G, G with an F sharp, E minor, E, C, C with a B in the bass, A minor, A minor 7 with a G in the bass. So he does that, and then when he says somewhere in the ashes, it's the C walk down. Followed by F, E minor, D, C, and then he goes back to the first thing. Now the next three lines of chords happen in this order the first time through the song, but sometimes he jumps in in the middle depending on which time through the song it is. So I've labeled the lyrics of consequence, which is to say the sleeping as you lay sleeping part, the cleaning my gun line, and the heaven or hell line. So we're gonna keep the strumming pattern the same, but we're gonna switch the chords half as often. So, as you lay sleeping, C. which is A string one, and then D, G, B, three. Just suck it up and try and try and try. This is one of the spots where people stop playing guitar. So if you can get through B flat, you can get through anything. And at least we have the capo on the fifth fret instead of no capo at all, because it's the very hardest to do it down here. Okay, as you lay sleeping, C, G, B flat, F, however you want to play F. Cleaning my gun, G. E minor, C, and here's an interesting choice, A, and on the A, you can make the B string go two, which is regular, open, three, two. Cleaning my gun part one more time, G, E minor, C, A, into heaven or hell, C, quick 
change E minor D and then a more lackadaisical A and that was a long A sometimes it's shorter use your earballs I'm astounded to report that everything else in the song is something we've already done in the last three minutes, except for the as you lay sleeping when it's the weird one. And that's gonna start the same. C, the dramatic, you know, ring out one. G, just like regular. B flat. F. But then he plays an A, followed by an E minor. And a B, which is precisely the same as B flat, so you've just doubled your investment, but one fret higher. And then F sharp. You could play F sharp as the big bar chord, you could play F sharp as baby F sharp. Just take your little F and move it up one fret, and promise not to strum anything but the D through the baby E strings. So, the weird one. C, dramatic ring out. minor, B, F sharp. <laughs> Fancy things of note. Sometimes on the A minor he pulls off his ring finger before going into that A minor 7 with a G in the bass. So you'll be walking down your C walk. It's like an E walk. Thusly. We also encounter the E minor hammer-on trick that Chris oh so loves to do. You just do your E minor, but start with the D string open and hammer, hammer it back on. You can do that anytime you play an E minor in this song, or you know, most songs for that matter. And we have the little tiny walk up into the C chord, the pickup notes, which is done on the A string, open to sliding into your C chord. So let's say you're coming out of the second half of the first thing, the C walk down, and you're going in to the ashes part. You'd be all. And then do the same exact line. Of course, we already went over that. And then you're. Like so. That was right. Good. Okay. <laughs> Along the same lines, Chris did not do this in any of the live versions I perused, but we can take that same concept and walk up to our G chord on the E string. An E walk. Especially separates those two G notes because you end with the A minor 7 with the G in the bass and then hit the G chord with, of course, the G in the bass. So it's a nice little separation between and if you feel like it. The last time we hit the ashes part, it's the lyrics, sometimes they were righteous and sometimes they were oh so wrong. He doesn't go to the C, it, you know, F, E minor, it would be D, C every other time, but this time it's D, which he hangs on, and he does the same thing, relatively speaking, as he did with the A, when it was A, A suspended to, A suspended for, A, uh, and he does D, regular, take your middle finger off, for D suspended to, and put your pinky finger on E3, for D suspended four, and back to regular, so. Sometimes they were righteous, the cleaning my gun part over and over and over again. Well, not the cleaning my gun part over and over again. Bouncing back and forth between the cleaning my gun line and the heaven and hell line, you know, a few times, and then the last time he repeats the heaven and hell line a couple times. And the very last time, he hangs on the A fancies for quite some time. is how you play Cleaning My Gun by Chris Cornell. I think it's awesome that that was never on an album of any kind or anything. It's just one he plays live sometime. Thank you for the great request, gentlemen and ladies. I always enjoy extra, you know, much bringing you the Chris ones. I hope you enjoyed that. I hope that was helpful, and I will see you next time with more stuff. Goodbye. <laughs>